I've had quite a few recommendations on um, Instagram, Facebook and on YouTube. Can you go and try these? So I've got them and here they are. I was in Iceland and I came across these. Well, I didn't come across them. I was, I've been told about them, but I've I seen them on social media and I thought, well, I've got to try them. The new two giant double Mac burgers. So instantly I think of McDonald's and um, instead of big, we've got giant. 494 grams. There is the serving suggestion. I must admit that does look good. These were four quid. So let's take a look at the packaging. We've had a quick look at the front. Let's go around the back. It's the same as the front, but the other way around. So let's have a look. Any spiel? We're on the other side. We've got origin of beef. We've got UK and or Ireland. That's good, isn't it? It's produced in the UK for Iceland foods. A GB sticker. Um, best before, the date there, we're frozen on, tells you. So let's uh, let's um, have a look at the ways to cook. Um, you do them in the oven from frozen. You can um, defrost them in a refrigerator. Or you can oven from defrost. It's up to you how you want to do them. It really is. Next question starts for 10. That's my oven telling me it's ready. So there's the ingredients there. Um, we've got allergens in there. Milk, wheat, mustard and meta bisulfite. Beef is 73%. Processed cheese slice, 8%. Yeah, I wonder if it's going to taste like McDonald's Big Mac. I love that Big Mac sauce. So I've got two giant double Mac burgers. Seasoned beef burgers with onion filled with a processed cheese slice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there is some nutritional information if you want to pause that and have a look at that. By all means, go ahead. Per burger oven baked, we've got 533 calories. Yeah, if I come across any more information, I will put it in the description of the video. And you can have a look at all, everything in there that I've missed that I think is important. Right, let's get these open, see what we have got. Do we have a tab system? Um, we've got my finger. That came out all opened okay. So, so that's what you get, look. <laughs> I mean, I was expecting two giant double Mac burgers. I don't know what it was, but I was expecting them like to be the Big Mac sauce. Um, I'm hoping that it does taste like a Big Mac. Well, that's why we're doing this, to see. And what do you think of the price? Uh, two pound each. Yeah. So let's get them open. Oh, we can get them open. That's what you get. I have done reviewed something similar to this before. Cheeseburgers they were with a slice of cheese in the middle. Hmm. Yeah. Right. Let's get them in the oven then, and um, let's get them cooked. So I'm just looking at the spiel and it's two giant Mac burgers. So it's seasoned beef burgers with onion filled with a processed cheese slice. So they're just cheeseburgers then, aren't they? Yeah, there's, there's the cheese in the centre. Soft white baps, got these in Aldi. I have washed my hands as well. After, always wash hands after handling raw meat. So there's me, um, me bap. Um, I, hope, I hope that this will you know, be big enough for it. As always, when I do burgers, I always like to toast the bun, um, toast that bit there, get that nice and crisp. Just adds a bit of texture to it. So I'm gonna weigh in. I'm gonna weigh it, see what we've got. So it says four, seven, uh, 494 grams, so I zeroed the scales. This is the other one. Um, can we see okay there 250 yeah so that's um, I know it's frozen weight I'll, I'll weigh this one when it comes out the oven and see how much we get um, how much we lose so 251 great gift them David them scales thank you very much come on I couldn't leave David out with them scales and now I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little bit of the old sauce myself if it doesn't taste like a um, Big Mac sauce so I've got a, a gherkin um, I'm gonna chop it up I've got some ketchup and I've got some uh, mustard as well. So I'm going to sort of do a little bit of a, oh, 
a little bit of a Big Mac sauce myself. Now I know this isn't authentic or genuine or whatever you want to call it. I know you can. There are recipes and online you can sort of choose yourself. So I'm just going to sort of cut cut them up sort of loosely. What's the old pinkies? <laughs> You don't want to cut your you don't want your fingernails in there. That's what certainly what you don't want. It's fingernails in your in your sauce. Um, and then I'm going to get some when I can open it. Bit of ketchup, bit of red sauce. Got some mustard. Might not be the right mustard to use, but I'm using it because this is my way. Oh, there we go. Stick the old. Gherkins in there as well, and now I've got a secret, a secret ingredient. Well, it's not so much secret. Just had to get it out of the fridge. There's a little bit of the old gherkin juice, a little bit of that in there. Mix it all up. Oh, I might have put too much in. Well, I think I might need a little bit more red sauce. Bit of mixing. I could get a spoon, but. Just something else to wash, isn't it? Now I'm not sure. Might, I should have used mayonnaise. Here. I don't know. I should have gone online and checked, but I'm doing it my way. So, yeah, there we are. Last time I did that, I did it with uh, mayonnaise, mayonnaise, ketchup, and uh, made Thousand Island uh, sauce. <laughs> Still tasted good on a burger. So I've just been uh, online and had a look how they make the Big Mac sauce, and I've done it all wrong. <laughs> So I'm just going to add some mayonnaise because I've done it wrong anyway. So I'll just oh, I'll just add a little bit of mayo into the mix as well. It doesn't look like the colour of Big Mac sauce, does it? No. Right, I'm going to try it. It's 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 yellow now, so it's getting there. I've nailed it! So they're done. I'm going to weigh the burger now when it's done. I can't remember what it weighed when it was frozen. Um, I have zeroed the scales. So we'll plonk that on there. It does say do it on a tray with upturned edges because it's there's a load of wastage there. Look at all that. That's spurted out. So when I edit it, I will put it on screen. Of how much the frozen one was. Uh, we've got a, we've got the shadows here. Dun, dun, dun. 211 grams, 210 grams. So I'm gonna I'm gonna assemble the burger. Yeah. I'm gonna because it's red hot. So there's me me buns toasted. Um, I'm gonna stick some of this sauce down on here. This Big Mac sauce I've made. <laughs> like that. Oh, yes. I'll stick some on that side as well. There we go, that'll do. That'll do. So I'll try this. I'll try this before I, I obviously put it in there. Um, so I'll cut it in. I'll cut it in half, and I'll show you what's in the middle. That's the middle look. Cheese, processed cheese. Right, I'm going to try it first. I'll, I'll cut this bit off, this sliver off. Um, and I'll put that in there. I'll put that in there like that. Look at that cheese, don't want to waste any of that. Get that over there. Get the lid on. So there's the burger. Obviously I've cut it in half to show you. I'm going to try it first. I'll put that bit on there. Before I get into it. So let's try this. So it's it's great that it's British beef, isn't it? It really is great that it's British beef. I wasn't expecting it to be British, to be fair. I was expecting it to be from Shaw's of somewhere else. It's, it, I have reviewed something similar to this before. Um, Iceland have brought out a, a similar, very, very similar 
burger to this, but instead of it just wasn't giant, it was just a normal size. Now they've, they've brought a giant one out. I am sort of tasting similar to Big Mac sauce, but it's nothing like Big Mac sauce. Mine's the real deal, my sauce. Um, it was okay, it was, it was tasty. But that's how you eat them, isn't it? It's very vinegary now. That probably was probably my sauce. To be fair, I put a lot of the old um, sort of juice in there in my sauce, turn it a bit vinegary. But the the actual meat itself is lovely. It's well seasoned. You can taste the onion in there as well. Only faint, but I do like. Growing up, we used to have sort of frozen burgers with onion, and I swear they were the best burgers going. They used to put them in the oven or fry them um, and they used to come out about the size of a 10 pence piece. <laughs> mm. You can actually see the onion in the burger. They're, it's, they are just similar to the last ones I've done. And I don't think I quite like them ones, the last ones, because I thought they were just a little bit too... Sort of vinegary, if that makes sense. But I like this one. There's no, no, um, it's a big, big meaty sort of burger as well. 70, 70 odd percent beef. Nice if that was in the high 80s, wouldn't it? Mm. It's cheesy as well. Tell me what you think, please, in the comments. Thanks for the recommendations and thanks for watching and subscribing. I do appreciate it. Um, that's that's probably a, a seven and a half out of ten. Seven and a half out of ten. I, I like that. It's all right. So take care. All the best, and I'll get back to you on the next one.